Go. Okay, we're looking at a Collins um, electric base here. I think it's a BK100. And we're adjusting the brake. We're the, sometimes the brakes are a little too tight or a little too loose for people's tastes. And um, we, we found a new a, a way to do that. And it has to do with changing the adjustment on these two screws. So we, we've already taken off the plastic shroud and we've already, and in order to do that, you have to take off uh, these pedals. To do that, you use a, I believe it's a five, four and a half or five millimeter Allen uh, to do that. It, and it looks like this here. You do have to have one that's a right angle, such as this, in order to reach under there and get it off. So we've got that off, we've got all the plastic shroud off. And what we have here is a camshaft and the brake is actuated by rotating this on the camshaft. There's the cam and it presses against this assembly right here down underneath it to help make the brake engage and disengage. So what we found is that coming from the factory, um, these limiting screws are down all the way. So in order to make it the brake open up the most, I guess, and be disengaged and allow it to turn the most freely, you can lift that up. So then when you turn it this way to disengage the brake, you can see that it, it kind of disengages and lets that lift up. Then we can make this other adjustment to make the brake tighter to, to the other side of the limiting screw. I'm just gonna roll it all the way up to the top. And then when we um, tighten the brake this way, you can see that it presses down and engages there. A little bit more of the oval of the cam pushes harder. So that that is a lot, there are full range of motion on this camshaft against the brake assembly by by um, backing these two limiter screws out as far as you can so there are also some adjustments that can be made made there but this video is just focusing on these these two so thank you